now we are in front of <coughs> Ambler Johnston. Uh, we are actually in the courtyard area with, uh, you know, the seating arrangements, charcoal grills, you know, a basic cool place to hang out outside on a nice day like this. Uh, some things I'd like to point out about uh, this building. So there is a west side and an east side. Um, and they both contain different living learning programs, which uh, I'll talk about uh, when we get inside the building. Now, the west side actually is a traditional hall style residence hall and has hall bathrooms. Now, the east side also mainly has that. However, it does have 42 double rooms with private bathrooms. Uh, so that is the slight distinction between the two. Um, also, the entire residence hall is air conditioned and we will go in and see some of the specific amenities that are part of the Ambler Johnson or AJ uh, residence hall. Ambler Johnson Hall has a massive lobby, as you can see. Uh, it also goes out uh, to the east and the west side, uh, you know, in their respective areas. So, you know, when you enter so you don't have to enter from the middle every single time. You can enter on your side. On if Say if you're a West resident, you can enter on that side and you have your own specific lobby in there. And if you're on the East side, you can enter through that lobby as well. And there's a specific lobby for that building. So, you know, plenty of areas to just hang out and relax and, you know, meet up with your friends or things like that. Now we are in the crossover lounge at Ambler Johnson Hall. So it connects the east and the west side of Ambler Johnson. Uh, so as you can see, there are different areas like uh, different closed door offices and study spaces or a nice general area. Also, there is a very nice large kitchen in here uh, for whatever you want to cook. Um, now, since I'm in the in-between area, I want to talk about um, one part about Ambler Johnson is that it has two residential colleges. So what um, the two residential colleges are the Honors Re Residential College and the Residential College at West Amber Johnson. Now, what a residential college is, is it's a living learning community with a live-in faculty member. Uh, and this live-in faculty member lives in the buildings uh, with uh, their family members and they will, you know, invite students into their homes, um, you know, for regular programming and things like that. So it is pretty cool to be a part of something like this. Uh, and also, you know, part that is unique about Ambler Johnson as well. Furthermore, you know, Ambler Johnson is one of the uh, few residence halls that has a fitness room and one of the few buildings that has a theater as well. Okay, this is a very common style room in the uh, Ambler Johnson halls. Uh, now, obviously, if you have one of the double rooms with a private bathroom, it'll look a little bit different. However, this is what a majority of the rooms here look like. Uh, so one thing I want to point out, you'll notice there are the physical wardrobe type closets. Um, and obviously there are two of them, so one for each roommate. Uh, now, again, you still have the option to either loft your bed or de-loft your bed. Uh, you can do that in any residence hall. Uh, each residence hall still, you know, each residence hall room still has two desks, two chairs, two beds, two closet units, and the sink as well, all the hall style rooms, um, rather. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, <clears throat> it is air conditioned as well, both sides are, um, and they're very, you know, nice rooms, very nice bathrooms, a relatively newer residence hall.